Well, greetings from Wisconsin once again. And um, right now I'm at the Fort Crawford Museum in Prairie du Chien here. And this is a pretty neat place here. So you can see they're gonna close any minute, so we're not gonna go inside any of the old buildings, but this here is the original building part of Fort Crawford here. Honestly, this is the second Fort Crawford. The first one was on that island, which is now part of Vila Lewis or so. But here's a picture of what the fort used to look like. You can pause if you want to read that. And actually, here is where, in 1832, where they actually brought Black Hawk to justice after he surrendered. And right here is another bar that's like over the window or so. They used to be be like over the windows or so but here's this historic marker here when Black Hawk surrendered in that and it turns out he surrendered after the well you could pause if you want to read that it turns out Black Hawk actually surrendered in like 35 miles north of here they called the Battle of the Bad Axe and then after that um Black Hawk just surrendered and threw in the towel then they brought him back here and then they locked him up here at at Fort Crawford and then Black Hawk was released when um when Andrew Jackson you know decided to release him in that and see this is what I mean by this is the second Fort Crawford the original one was built in 1816 and stood at the site now occupied by Vila Lewis. After a decade of Mississippi flooding, the U.S. Army relocated to the fort. Relocated the fort to the site. So yeah, it's due to flooding why they decided to relocate the fort to this site here. And as you can see up here is a diagram of the old military road here. Here, how as you can see up there is Green Bay and there's Fort Howard and this is where the road would start and go mm, like this there's Lake Winnebago and right there is present-day Fond du Lac and right up in there Grand Chute Little Chute up there is present-day Appleton and right here would, would be present-day Oshkosh and there would be the Fox River. And right here would be present day Portage. There'd be Fort Winnebago and Stone Quarry and Line Kiln and that. And when I was saying with my last video with um, Marquette and Juliet, when they entered the Wisconsin River, it was around like this point or so. I think they started at Green Bay and then they were traveling down the river here. There's the Fox River, and then, and then right there at Portage is where they entered into the Wisconsin River, and then they ventured down this way to Prairie du Chien, and right here is present-day Wyalusing State Park, this whole area here. As you can see, that's Prairie du Chien, and where it says Second Fort Crawford, that's where we're at right now. So anyway, getting back to the military road. See there's Prairie du Chien there and then this here thing in yellow is part of the old military road here. And as you can see, you know, Dodgeville, when you get to Dodgeville, there's actually remnants of the military ridge trail. Like that part of the bike trail actually extends from Dodgeville to Madison, so and this is where you would go through like Ridgeway and Barneveld, and then there's Blue Mounds. And right around here would be present day Mount Horb. Like right here would be present day Mount Horb. And right here would be Verona. And this is Lake Mendota, which which around here would be basically surrounded by what is today Madison, which is the state capital of Wisconsin. 
be right here would be Madison. I mean, Madison literally surrounds Lake Mendota, so right here would be present day Madison. And then the, in the military road, just continue, go through Portage there at Fort Winnebago in that. And then it'll just keep going right here and go right through Fond du Lac, Calmet Village. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name of that town right. But anyway, then right here along the Fox River, that's where it would start, would be up at Green Bay, Fort Howard. I know I was tracing it backwards, but it's just, I was just showing you, giving you an idea of how the military trail used to go back in the 1800s or so. So yeah, this is basically a diagram of where the Military Ridge Trail used to go and where Marquette and Juliet, you know, where they journeyed from Green Bay down the Fox River and then they got in the Wisconsin River at Portage and journeyed all the way to Prairie du Chien and then they journeyed down the Mississippi River to, I think it was the Gulf of Mexico. It's just with the whole Marquette and Juliet journey expedition that took place in 1673 and this military road and Blackhawk war and everything that that didn't come until like around the 1800s 1832 was when the black hawk war was and and this military ridge trail was around at that time too like kind of in the early 1800s or so and yeah and this here is part of the old fort crawford hospital or so I'm not sure if this part was the hospital. I just know that I think right around in here was the jail or so and where Black Hawk was at after he surrendered like 35 miles north of here. The Battle of the Bad Axe or so, which is up around DeSoto or so. I mean, I'll probably make a video up there someday, but it's not gonna be today. That'll probably be for some other day, you know, I'll probably go up that way. But it's just now I kind of just doing videos just kind of around Prairie du Chien here and that. So anyway, this is my video here of Fort Crawford. Fort Crawford number two and a little bit of history of the Black Hawk War and that. And well, not really the whole Black Hawk War, just when he surrendered and was brought here. So anyway, sign off for now.